hello welcome to my channel and welcome to something that's a little bit different um we have a magazine review and it is just <laughs> excuse me it's just cross stitching magazine it is issue for february this year sorry i'm just going to pull it up onto my screen i'm recording sophie i've got a scarf on yes <laughs> sit down sit sorry i'm getting fashion tips from the two-year-old um yes i have cross stitching magazine now i'm going to be jumping back and forth because this is digital and i can't show patterns so i'll be taking it off when i'm scrolling through the pattern and then popping you back on the image when i can show you what the item is so february 2020 sorry 2021 uh it doesn't have another number or code, I don't think. Some of them have particular numbers. Um, this isn't showing it necessarily. So anyway, we'll try and do this. I'll do this as best as I can. And um, yeah, let's see how we go. So this is the issue. This is what you're looking for. So you're looking for this and the fake knit sampler that um, Cassandra from Autumn Lane Stitchery was most upset about that she didn't get the front cover and this thing did. I kind of support you because the birds are going to be cute. Wait until you see them. Anyway, tea. Sorry. It's very hot. Okay. Um, so... We can actually scroll down through the first couple of pages. This is just an ad for some cute kittens. And if you want some cute kittens on your fan style shoes, you can. Now this is the contents. I'm gonna let it sit there just briefly. Um, you can see, I can wave my mouse over here. You've got lovely gnomes um, and that's from Aaron. And then lovebirds, lovebirds is what casts um, Cassie actually wanted on the um, front page and she thought that it was a winner. Now the first little blurb is by the editor and then we've got the Nordic knitting which look it, to be honest it does actually look like a knit. Um, sorry just checking levels. It does look like a knit piece it's cross stitch and look they finished it off with this funky thing which is the um, double-ended knitting needle. That's kind of a cool finishing touch and then of course you got the tassels down the end so yeah anyway back to me let's see we'll get off the pattern um, it's kind of a nice way to show you oh now if you are into black work um, have you seen my black work projects lately yeah they're getting a bit insane this is kind of pretty this is a blue and black black work it doesn't have to be all black work, um, but it's just been finished off in a nice silver frame. And I'm just trying to get a name. Frosted Windows is what that one's called. And I'll take you back to me. Um, it's going to be a reasonably simple pattern. Black work is really, really quick to work up. Um, it's actually quite a joy to work up because it's there fairly quickly. Um, I have just started a new black work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, winter stitching, because you guys in the Northern Hemisphere are still dealing with winter, even though it's um, kind of January, February issue, it is starting to... Mm, no, it's just still cold. January is normally permanent blue skies in Ireland and freezing, freezing cold. Now, I don't know what the weather is like down in the south where Rachel normally is, but unfortunately she's in Virginia at the moment and she's maybe getting snow. So <laughs> good luck to that one. Look, this is a nice little kind of sampler. So you've got the mix of the winter. You've got the snowmen, which if you've got snow, for goodness sake, go out and make a snowman. Um, get cold and then go in and have hot chocolates and s'mores and all sorts of other yummy things in front of a fire if you can. But you've got your dangling scissors and then you've got um, Little Miss Pris who's standing in the town and the snowflakes all over and she looks like she's got a pincushion actually on her head. Um, it's a little bit strange. 
Um, but there you've got the colours that's... Um, oh, uh, brain fog. I was only looking at these yesterday. Um, Simply Shaker floss. Um, really, really gorgeous um, flosses. Um, the new stitch along that I'm actually doing, um, I literally raided my stash for anything that looked kind of flower-like. I'm actually doing the steady thread stitch along. Um, and yeah, I just got all my contrasting colours, threw them in, and we'll see what happens in the end. Isn't this just gorgeous? This is Lingering Chill. Uh, it says, actually, I'm going to move this. I may be looking a bit wonky then when I come back onto the camera with you. Um, perched on top of some winter bright and juicy berries, this delicate bird studies himself against falling snowflakes and chilling wind. Oh, steadies himself against falling snowflakes and chilling wind while singing a cheerful song. Uh, Chaffinch, maybe? I don't know. It uh, is designed by um, Perry Ahadi of Stitchora. If you already follow his, hers, theirs, their work, um, that might be something that really appeals to you. There's quite a few colours in that though. Um, they do give DMC, they also give Sullivan's and there are some back stitches, straight stitches, there are some French knots, don't freak out with that. And they give you the conversions for two of those. They're, give me a second, there's one new one, there's 25, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, different elements but there are multiple mm, okay what they've got here is they've got two different stitches with the same color so they've got for instance 3747 is a blue violet very light and then they also use it for a left slanting half cross stitch they have um, other colors that were the same so 794 it also has a left slanting half cross stitch so they've got different symbols for different um, things there so just to be aware it's probably not a beginner piece that one um, but you know if you want to give it a go and be challenged go for it now the next pattern is called skiing and it's a little winter scene. You've got your um, little winter cabins and you've got a snowman. You've got a deer of some kind, reindeer possibly. You've got your um, ski lifts and you've got your snowy mountain caps. So that's all kinds of cute. What else have we got? February, of course, um, is Valentine's, but they're still celebrating a lot of winter patterns in this. Needle in a Haystack, there's a big ad for a store there. Needle, sorry, needlestack.com if you are interested in getting stock. They're actually Canadian. Um, no, Canadian? No, sorry, no, California. I'm mixing up my suburban state codes. Um, it's 94501, which is like the 90210, kind of. So if you need, there's always people looking for stores. Um, it looks like a pretty, you know, decent store with lots of stock hanging around. So that takes up the full pattern, takes up the full page of the magazine. All right, now this one, which I will move as I get in, it's called The Warm Glow of Home. It says, what better place to greet a chilly winter morning than this magical cabin nestled amid snow drifts against a backdrop of towering pines and w the warm glow from the cabin's windows beckons one inside for a hot tea beside a roaring fire. How kind of idyllic is that? But if I scroll down, you get to see it all. If it catches up. How pretty is that? It looks gorgeous. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, let me get off that. I want to see the size. The size is just under 10 and eight. So 10 by eight, which is a very large 
photo. Um, the traditional style paper photos, if you are old school, or remember flicking through your photo album, a six by four is the traditional, a five by seven is the bigger, and then a 10 by eight is bigger again. So you're talking nearly A4 size. So an A4 frame would fit that really well, and you would be able to get something to um, fit that in most dollar kind of stores. Um, you know, in the cheaper range of picture frames and do them yourself. Look at the snowman. He's all pastel -y. That's gorgeous. It says, let it snow. But the colours are so, so delicate on that. That's gorgeous. There's some beads up on this, sorry, this snowflake here. Uh, and then there's a couple of beads falling down here. That's really, really cute. I, I kind of get the feeling it's a little bit wishy-washy, but it, I like how subtle that one is. That's kind of cute. And I like how they frame that against the stitching. That is actually, get you some dimensions. Uh, it actually says, capture the delicate falling snowflakes of winter with this adorable snow girl design. Sorry, she. Dressed in a cozy pom-pom hat and striped scarf, she is ready for winter's chilly fun. It is five and a half by 3.8, three eighths, sorry. Five and a, sorry, five and a quarter by three and eighths strange measurements uh 74 by 46 if you're interested in stitch width so five by four is you know it's under that small picture frame so again easy 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 to get that framed or finish and put it on your christmas tree um winter snowflakes now if you like coasters this is the kind of thing that you could do so uh winter's intricate mascot uh, takes centre stage in this towel and coaster set. It's pre-finished towel with an insert stitching band and clear acrylic coasters make finishing a breeze. Now you can actually get these coasters on AliExpress. I have seen them. Uh, the towel, I think you can get probably better in um, a craft store. The design is two inches by six and one eighth. And the coasters, it doesn't say what size those coasters are i'm not seeing that's the plain jane um coasters sorry no it really isn't saying it um it's three inch diameter acrylic coaster and you can get those as i say on aliexpress if you're interested now ooh, this looks like a stitch along all right because look spoilers all you get are the colours. You've got purple, you've got yellow, you've got maybe red flowers, but revealed is this um, almost friendship bracelet kind of braid. You've got cornflowers or forget-me-nots and who knows what comes below. Let's take a look at what the blurb says. So it says where flowers bloom, part one. So if you're interested in a bit of a stitch along through the magazine, this is ideal. Let your stitching repertoire bloom with this year-long series presenting an eye-catching band sampler design stitched up hand-dyed cashel linen. That's a bit different. Each band employs Sullivan's USA floss. Uh, if you're fans, there are no conversions on this chart, right, so you would need to convert yourself. And features a blooming array of colourful speciality stitches to learn and perfect. Part one features open herringbone, closed herringbone, double herringbone and four-sided stitches. Now, the design size is seven and a half, sorry, seven and a quarter by five and a half. It's been so long since I've read fractions, far out. It's 101 stitches by 77 stitches. That's the overall the materials that you'd need would be 14 inches by 12 inches, a 28 count. Sophie, can you turn that down a bit, please? Um, Sophie, turn it down, please. I said, please. Yes. Okay. So the fabric and materials are for the entire six part project. Um, it says work open herring, but I'm actually trying to see if they have like how you do a herringbone. I'm not seeing it. 
so it gives you the pattern all right but it doesn't actually say if there's a trick to doing it or anything else now if you're into crime historical crafty stuff or anything else the 1815 on youth sampler a handprint of sampler art in the era era of trepidation and hope every sampler tells a story uh, so I'm going to read just a little bit of this. Every sampler tells a story, whether it's the sampler maker uh, stitches her initials or full name on coarse or fine linen. However, sometimes there is no identification at all. Without the stitcher's name, we're left uh, slightly hollow, not having the opportunity to connect the particular person with a particular piece of sampler art. Such is the fate of the 1815 on youth sampler that hails from Somerset, England. Uh, it lacks the name, but... Okay, what it does give you is this. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, a little bit, you know, tatty. A little bit worn. But it says, On youth, fragrant the rose is, but it fades in time. The violet sweet, but quickly past the prime. White lilies hang their heads and soon decay. The whiter snow in minutes melts away. Such and so with ring are our early joys which time or sickness speedily destroys now this thing is ragged but this is an old sampler just as a bit of a youth thing but um, somebody was maybe nostalgic for themselves you've got some angels or cherubs even uh, you've got some acorns maybe or roses down the side you've got some hearts you've got some colored diamonds um, an amazing piece of history that they've shown um, and these have been preserved now here it's been reproduced and you can see it in brand new form almost um, I kind of like the old style to be honest um, but you know kind of nice so the reproduction sampler, they've got all of the floss, they've got the pattern, I think it runs over onto the two pages. So it's, you know, it's a decent sized pattern for oh, two, three, four pages, four full size pages pretty much of the magazine. Ooh, now this is pretty. My eternal love, I'm getting very much into the Celtic knot kind of thing um, and I will talk about that a bit more. Celebrate eternal love with this unique wedding sampler from Stitchy Fish Designs. Three colours of Celtic inspired not to intertwine around this Irish sentiment. Personalise the project with your choice of linen and flosses for truly one of a kind keepsake. Um, now, if you're interested in my terrible pronunciation, it says Ma, ma Shiogra, my eternal love. Um, so you've got the green, the gold, the red, and then you've got these subtle pastel kind of in the green, gold and red as well. That's really, really pretty. Um, yeah, I've actually got my first head kit on my way and it is my Irish blessing that I have at the end of my videos. Oops, pattern, wrong picture. You get me drinking tea instead. All right. So if Celtic is your thing, um, so it's got the saying, but it doesn't give you um, letters. So you would have to improvise with your own letters. There are alphabets available everywhere. Okay, so you're not going to be left too high and dry. Some Valentines. Be mine on a card and love on a pincushion. Um... And it's been finished with some card and some the buttons that you can get from any good scrapbooking craft store. Um, and it just says, with love set, send someone a token of your love. Oh, I'll read it on this one. Uh, two simple yet bold hearts take centre stage and easy to follow finishing instructions make both projects easy to complete in time for a love, love's favourite holiday. So there's that. Now, you've got then Love Lies Here, which is a sampler style with the, um, well, have we, have we got two love interests? We've got him 
and then we've got him and then we've got the missus and we've got the girl oh. are they family who knows anyway we've got the house we've got the flowers and it's all kinds of pretty it's designed by elizabeth spurlock of saving grace's fine needle arts celebrate a home filled with love with this vibrant and colorful design using a rainbow of cotton flosses this project will stand out cheerfully on any wall and will bring a smile to everyone's face when they pass by. This is giving you floss in Presencia. I've never heard of that. And DMC. So it, DMC you should be able to get. I don't know anything about the Presencia. It's spread over two pages. And then, oh look, we get my favourite people. Um, if you have not... I would really encourage you to go and watch Autumn Lane Stitchery's YouTube channel. Um, Aaron goes into the whys and wherefores of how these patterns came about and it's best coming from his mouth. But uh, suffice to say that they submitted these lovely gnomes in the same ilk as the Santa and Mrs. Claus and the Snowman series over the Christmas period. And they rejected the same designs and they went with this four-parter with the four little gnomes saying love and the buttons were purposely put upside down and the Cassie and Aaron were talking about which gnome was their favorite gnome and it's all kinds of awesome and they're releasing the gnomes that the magazine didn't take they are releasing on their Etsy store and you can buy the patterns so get on board and they also are releasing the um what was it that they've just done? They did another Halloween, not Halloween, gosh, Valentine's. Um, on the page, like literally in the last day. So there's that. And it's just finished off with some ribbon. Um, I think um, Cassie did that. And um, a dagger. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Aaron is an awesome designer and I will I absolutely love seeing his thought process on this. He gives the colors in both DMC and Sullivan's and you can see his sketches, you can see his prelim work when he comes up with the design and the stories behind Oh yeah, he did like a lovebird thing and he's got the tails making the heart and the tree roots, you know, with the, the houses in the tree roots, you know, the roots. And he's talking about all this and it's like, oh my God, you're so romantic. How about the bloody fangs? Bloody fangs for Valentine. Bloody, bloody fangs. Mm. Bloody. Bloody. Yes, I heard bloodied. Right. Bloody Dear, no. ABCs of love. If you are a sampler person, I'm not. But if you are a sampler person, this charming version of a traditional marking sampler features love front and centre, adorned with a quaint a quintet of delicate floral sprays along the bottom of design is perfect for stitchers of all levels. Now, I didn't know this, but apparently stuffing your um, samplers or your pin cushions and stuff, you stuff them with crushed walnuts um, because it keeps your pins sharp or your needles sharp. So that's why you would use that as your stuffing. Uh, that's only a little one. Um, let me get you the dimensions for that one. Uh, it is two and three eighths by four and five eighths. So three by five inches. That's really quite small and, you know, almost like a uh, iPhone kind of old iPhone size. iPhone four, iPhone five. Um, Now, I'm going to get this up. I've had a few people mention how they get sore fingers and thimbles don't fit their fingers. But look, here's a little thimble pad. It's a sticky thingy that you put on your finger instead of getting a callus. So you can figure out, because with me, I'll show you. With me, I actually get worn in this bit of my finger here. I could actually put that thimble pad on that bit of my finger um, to prevent the needle going into it but then I kind of feel I'd be a bit um, numb and then not feel the um, the needle coming through the work but at least it doesn't stop sticking it through me um, all right coffee house collection 
Coffee House Love Collection even. Love you and love you this matcha. So if you like your matcha tea or you can have a latte. And it's Jazz Up Your Coffee Nook with a set of four fun designs featuring everything needed for a coffee or tea break. The designs... What have I done? I've put me back on. The designs use bright pinks and vibrant greens to give you a pop of colour in any decor. And then you get some cookies too. Now that's two. Okay. And here... No, I've done that the wrong way. Here are the other two. So you are terrific and stud muffin. Okay. And all I've done is given you a flash of the floss. So you haven't got the pattern. Lovely. Let's see what's next. Next is my love. And it says a simple cross stitch design with two shades of pink blends harmoniously and easy to follow with finishing instructions in the design perfect for holding your keys or even your scissor fob. So it's a, a tiny two and a half by uh, two and a half by one and seven eighths. So sorry, two and a quarter even. Um, two, I've got a centimeter ruler in front of me. So uh, two and a half is five centimeters uh, by less than two. Uh, so size wise, um, kind of similar to an Apple watch screen, give or take. That's, that's a nice little project. I mean, and look at it. It's, it's just kind of outline, you know, how much more simple can you get? That would be, you know, one of those do it in an evening kind of projects. If that's the kind of thing that you like, um, having finishes on. All right, now, lovebirds. This is what Cassie wanted on the front screen, on the cover of the magazine. Lovebirds, all right? So, the deep, rich wine colour linen provides a striking contest to the bright white floss with this German folk art-inspired lovebird design. Classic cross-stitch is, is, classic cross-stitch is accentuated with the scattering of back stitches, making this project ideal for displaying all year long. Now, the important thing with this pattern, okay, um, there are some stitches down here and in Aaron's video where he's talking about this, he says, if you don't use the fabric that's selected here, the plum, the, not the plum, the bergen, the, bleh, the red, then you will need to change this back stitch color to match your fabric. So if you're using a green material, get a green, because it's supposed to look like the fabric is coming through the stitching. Um, that's the idea behind that. But you've got the two little lovebirds, you've got the kind of flowers and um, everything else happening there. It's very traditional folk art kind of finish. And uh, that's getting into pattern. So I'll jump you back to me and see what the blurb is. So it's seven and three quarters square. So, you know, eight inch square. That's the width of an A4 page. Um, so you get an idea. Uh, use a 14 inch 28 count Cabernet Cashel from Picture This Plus if you wanted to use this burgundy um, Cabernet wine color. If you want to use something else, yeah, go for it. And absolutely, they would love to see you shake things up. But I think the wine with the romance of Valentine's and all that kind of thing is maybe what Aaron was going for. Size 24 tapestry needle. I can't recall if they go smaller. Sorry, I've hit the wrong one. I can't recall if they go smaller or bigger, depending on the number. So I don't know if it's 24, if that's smaller than a 28. I can't recall. But that's a 28 count, so it works out as a 14 if you're doing it two over two. You're only using um, the one or two strands, and then you've got the contrast wine color fabric, complementary color. And um, yeah, so there's that. Now, there are some product reviews um, for... Stitch Bow Needlework Travelling Bag, Binder Inserts and Floss Holders. Oh, look at all those zips. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, that is 25 
dollars for the travel bag. The binder inserts are two seventy nine for a two pack. That would be this thing, I would imagine. Uh, so what? It's an individual zip for each color. Ooh, nifty. And floss holders is one sixty nine. No, so the binder inserts is something else. Okay, and then we've got a Emma Prim Gingham on the go project bag. Um, little project bags, $25, and the smaller one by Laurie is $13. And then what have we got? We've got Christmas ornaments, design contest. So, oops, let me get you off that. And let's go back to the page. Uh, so if you are interested in the Christmas contest, I've just gone all the way up to the top of the page with that refreshing it. So I'm down near the bottom. Um, hang on, let me... There we go, lovebirds. This is down into the kind of, you know, bottom of the magazine and um, advertising and all that kind of thing. Um, I want that. Why? Being silly for me now. Sorry, let me just fiddle. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we're getting into the advertising kind of section, the last few pages, finishing instructions for all sorts of things, to be honest. Um, let me just check the picture is not okay because it's, it's done a stupid... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to just take you off the magazine. It's just the end of the magazine. It's the advertising section. And, um, yeah. Uh, you are good to go on that one then. Um, so, look, just cross-stitch. I'm actually quite pleased with that. I'm, I'm extra pleased because um, Aaron and Cassie are in it with the Autumn Lane stitchery. And I wanted it for the gnomes. And I wanted it for something else. It's $20 for an online subscription for a year and you get all access to the past magazines as well. So if there are any patterns that you've ever wanted, go in, download it, copy them, save them, back them up, do whatever you need to do from, uh, you know, saving your PDFs and work on your special projects. I know with Aaron and Cassandra, they do release the patterns maybe after six months so you can get them on the Etsy store. If they have been previously in the magazine, you can get them later. Um, so, you know, if you don't want to pay for the magazine, then you just pay the shop. It's up to you. But if there are other projects in there that you like as well, um, then go for it. Hopefully this video has worked really well um, from a point of view of you've seen some gorgeous imagery. You've not got the pattern sneak peeks. You can see it, that it's current rather than a four, six month delay on Australian magazines because shipping and everything else for paper is just ridiculous. Um, if this works out, this is something that I will probably check out doing more. I kind of miss not getting the little freebie that you get, but if I can get an online magazine for a much reduced price, much quicker when they're actually released in, say, the UK, 
Um, it means that you're up to date and you can get a hold of these things as well. And being online, there's no limits. Who needs paper, to be honest, if you can get them online and you're not missing anything? That's the thing. If you're missing stuff, there's a problem. But if you're not missing stuff, then go for it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, link to the site will be in the description and you can check them out. Consider if you want doing a subscription to the magazine or not. You know, just follow my channel if you want to see more each month. And you can see whether or not it's something that you're interested in doing in the future. And as I say, you can get access to all the back issues as well. So if you kind of saw one pattern maybe last month and, you know, one pattern maybe this month. And then, you know, the next one you kind of go, oh, yeah, I like that. Then it would probably be more worth your while buying the subscription. So you can get all those back issues. You can get all the patterns. You can keep them yourself. You can print them if you need to. Um, we put them on Pattern Keeper. Oh my god, Pattern Keeper is just coming into its own. Wow. Um, if you have an Android device, I mean, I use Pattern Keeper on my phone. I should potentially upgrade. I could steal Sophie's um, tablet um, just for Pattern Keeper. She doesn't use it as a tablet. She actually uses my iPad. And I can't use Pattern Keeper on my iPad because it's not Apple compatible. So... People have been buying Kindle Fires specifically to use. They have been buying cheaper tablets specifically to use Tablet uh, Pattern Keeper. Um, be careful what you do buy. There is a group on Facebook for Pattern Keeper and everybody has the whys and wherefores, how to make it work, the best devices for it or what to avoid because some are not compatible if they're too old. I think one of the Kindle Fires is not compatible so you need to be a little bit careful of your product that you purchase. You can buy reasonably cheap tablets from China, who cares, um, you know, USB rechargeable. But the one that we have for Sophie is um, like a large, it's not a large, large photograph, but it, you know, it's a good size photograph, it's a good size screen, resolution's fine um, for something that's just for Pattern Keeper, or, you know, it's, I don't even know how much, around about the $100 Australian, so cheap. Um, so you don't have to go and spend a thousand dollars on, you know, uh, whiz bang, Samsung, blah blah, to get this thing to operate. You just need to make sure that your specs are correct. So go on to Pattern Keeper in the Google Play Store and um, check the specs, and then check the specs on the item that you want to buy or use. Either way, um, but yeah, Pattern Keeper really brings these patterns on the paper. So this is a PDF. You can either screen capture or you can download the pages that you want into a separate PDF which means that you can then upload it into Pattern Keeper. You can put all your threads in and you can use this and you can mark your stitches and go from there. Just go crazy. Um, you're saving trees by going online as well and by using Pattern Keeper. Um, I know some people still like to use paper and highlighters. Go for it. If that's your thing, go for it. Um, but it's certainly been a game changer for me. All I need to do now is get organised so I know where all my PDFs are. <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to lose them to the cyberspace and go, damn it, <laughs> I've forgotten that pattern. <laughs> um, so I might have to start using Trello for my patterns and put my pictures up there as well so I know what kind of patterns I want to go for. Um, for my stitching, for my whips and all that kind of thing in cross stitching as opposed to diamond painting. So yes, plenty to think about. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you uh, enjoyed the flip through with the online version and you've got some gorgeous um, resolution with that and you'll be able to see, you know, everything in um, in full definition. So hopefully that will come across and post editing will be nice and neat. And um, yeah, I will see you around on the tubes. I'll finish and enjoy my tea and um, see you on the next one. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.